Hey everyone, welcome to Portal 2! So much hype. Let's get started. So there's co-op in this? Interesting. I'm so hyped for this. I've never played Portal 2. This is my first time. And gosh, everyone loves this game. Good morning. <laughs> you have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. What if I don't? What do they do? It probably just waits. Come on, say something snarky. <laughs> okay, it's been a second. Good. This Didn't completes say the anything. gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental <laughs> wellness exercise. There's a framed painting <laughs> on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is nicer in a way than um, the first game, right? This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Am I close enough? You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. Oh, great. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. It's very nice, very Good. pretty. Yeah, now, I like that. Now please return to your bed. <laughs> I want to leave. Let me go. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call. Hello? Anyone in there? Subject should vacate the enrichment Hello? center immediately. Hello? Enrichment Any center. Are you so going to open the door at this time? At any time? Soon to have ah! Ah! God, oh, God. You look te um. Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. What voice Just is that? Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. I know who the voice is. I don't know the name, but I can picture him. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. <laughs> uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Let's go jump again. <laughs> okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> all reactor core safeguards so are that's now really, non-functional. Huh? Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. You all said Wheatley was the Easter egg in the Talos okay, Principle. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. Well then how are you on, and sir? Course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? What? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, so, no, I hear that one. I hear that one. <laughs> Can I just, like, hide under okay, the listen, covers? <laughs> we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Okay. Alright? Not sure. dead. I'll back you up, bud. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. 
There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Oh my god. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance no. beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These oh, pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Oh my god, this is exactly how the first game opens. I love Portal, it's such a good game. I'd love to play it again. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry, the odds of this happening twice are very slim. Okay, but I'm going too fast for the narration, apparently. This looks different. What is this? If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your tablets. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. No, I hope not. <laughs> You don't have to tell me to push buttons. Like, I, I'm instinctively gonna push like any button I can. I don't, I don't know what that did. Uh, okay, okay. Dude, this is so cool. This is like perfect thematically even for the it fits the the first game so well even. Did they never make a Portal 3? Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> I won't hold my breath on that. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason, <laughs> then just accept them as our overlords? I guess? For now? Until society has been rebuilt. The gun's supposed to be there. Are these... Are any... Not any, but are all of these gonna be... Inexact hey, replicas of the first game's puzzles? There should be puzzles. a portal device on that podium over there. I can't... Oh! Can you see the portal gun? I can't also, see shit. Are you alive? <laughs> that first. Thanks, Wheatley. Uh, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. 
I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Dude. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully. You know, I don't actually remember how Portal 1 ended. I know there was like that boss fight, but I, I don't remember. Jeez. Oh, um. Why did I go that way? Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. Great. To share. <laughs> to share. Oh my god. <laughs> If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Oh my god. <laughs> the, I'm sorry, the writing for both of these games is just incredible. <laughs> This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. <laughs> now keep playing my jazz. I came from <laughs> my sense of direction is great thanks for asking Oops, I'm silly. I'm a silly goose. We gotta do this first. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Unreason. Consummate V's. Is that a box with cat ears? Amazing. Incredible. It's a cat jumping over a moon. Unreason. Oh, that's it. That's all that's up here. I like the way it shows your portals through the walls like that. That's kind of cool. That's different, I think. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome.
if the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. I'll be sure to do that, I guess. What the fuck? Wow, this is so cool. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, where, where am I going? Where's the thing? Oh yeah, right here, okay, I was right. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science got Wheatley. <laughs> constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. My goodness. Yeah, this is uh this is pretty dire. This is this pretty next bleak. This applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. I didn't expect anything different no though. Apply in the future. God help you. <laughs> well, um as far as I know, we don't have these portal guns in the future or right now so I don't know I remember having to do that yeah If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. This is amazing. Okay, we gotta do this again a bunch. Uh... Oops, we want that box. And we want to put it... Where? Where do we want to put the box? Maybe over there? Um, I don't know, let's try, see what happens. Cool. So we can get the box and then put it, you know, in a, in a place. It is behind there. How are we supposed to get over there? Will that be enough? <laughs> Will that be enough space?
Yes, I need to stand on this platform, but how do I get there? There's... Give it a shot. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Oh my god. If you are old. <laughs> oh my god. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your Great. right to have questions or concerns about this policy. I'm sure you do. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Hi. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. What he say on the other side of the wall? Come on what? through. Well, what's the point in that? Come on through to the other side. What? Oh, the wall behind you. Okay. Okay, listen. Let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But. We're out of options here, so get ready to catch me, all right? On the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. I'm ready. On three. Ready? One. <laughs> How much do you weigh? Hold on. Two. <laughs> three! That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this That's time. That's right. When you jump off okay, the ready? diving board, you kind of just no, have to do it. Ow. Ow. Oh, sorry. I was talking. Five. I'm sorry. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> I can't move though. That's the problem now. Yeah, you, you have still, to rely are you still on me. There? Could you pick me up? Do you think? Oh, brilliant! Thank you. Great. Plug me into that stick on the wall over there. Yeah, and I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um. Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not. I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second. All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Right open. While your back was turned. Pick me up. Well, let's get out of here. And off we go. Oh, just go behind it. Okay. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. You can go wherever we want. Just hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, Just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. Yes, hello, oh, we're all stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Yeah, I remember those things. I'm different. <laughs> ah. Oh, okay. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're gonna have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, and we could just sit here forever, that's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. I can't drop so, him. So, <laughs> if you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be a tremendous time to voice them. Dude, I literally don't have anything else going for me, so let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. This is the boss fight room. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Why, why would you be you know who ended up, uh, you scared know, of her being her awake? Down? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him stand in that water? Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where I have um, to, I think. absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch <laughs> Thanks. Me.
Where, where are we going? Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? I didn't even notice that there okay, were no you know stairs what? there. Uh, you're in my way, jump. buddy. You've got, you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do, do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, ah! oh, still <laughs> held, still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grip. We're all that fine. Good timing. That's tremendous. With the dialogue. Monologue, really? Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. Oops. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Oh my god, I can barely see it around can you. you. See it I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that. It's turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay, okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. Uh-oh. We flipped so many Power switches. initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Oh, uh, damn. I, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A A A A A um A A A A A C Wait, did I do B the German pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't okay, 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 listen. Alright, new plan. Act natural, act natural, nothing. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Yeah. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I, I think anything. we can put our differences behind us. <laughs> For science, you monster. What did you just do to Wheatley? I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. Oh my god. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Ah! to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. You deserved it, the dual as far as I recall. The device talking. should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. You know, it is kind of cool coming back to this um, after, like, ten years having played the first one. Because it does feel like we have a history from a long time ago. The dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here, let me get that for you. 
Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced what really, to leave you lost. killing me my again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More what? or less. I don't have the actuarial okay, tables I was gonna in say, front of me. Why 60 years? What happens then? Dude, that's fucking ominous. All right, um, sorry, my sense of direction is getting the better of me here. It, this looks like a circle to me. Like, wh which way did I come from? <laughs> I came from this way. Goodness. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you are back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, <laughs> it's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Amazing. Is there a way to just like retract the portal and just not have one? Okay, what are we? What are we actually trying to do? Probably get the laser to shoot into there. Yeah, that just powers it down. Okay, so I need to get on there first. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Okay. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. The corner of this room? Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> that is different. Wheelie! Wheelie, help me!
I guess that worked. Um, what does this do again? If I, if I put it in the laser, uh, that feels dangerous because I don't want it to shoot at me. See, again, I just want to retract my portals. <laughs> I don't want to have them out. All right, let's just see what happens. We got to see what happens. amazing okay so oh my god I didn't mean to do that Okay. Okay. Right, that gets rid of the one that you have out. <laughs> I could just do it that way. This is gonna be such a long game. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Another box from This isn't, I, I am missing something about doing this. Um. Like, it seems like we need two boxes, but there's only one. So, I need, But I need to be able to grab that box while I'm up here, maybe? If I could reach through. But... I... I... I can't... Well... Oh. <coughs> That's it. There's just... Make a portal on the floor. It's all good.
Well done. Oh my gosh. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Oh my god! The savage burns! This is ridiculous! <laughs> Listen! Listen! You're a robot. That's my clapback. Suckers, luck. Exile. Too many variables. Beans! Beans! Motherfucker, I forgot I was facing a laser. Oh my god. Come with me, radio. We're gonna jam a little bit during this one. Even if it's a sad ish song. Okay, what now? So there's one receiver. Uh, there's the other one. Oh. Uh, okay. So these won't. I can't rotate them. These will- I won't be able to make it point up. Well, if we can just get there... Look about right. Close enough! Okay, now this one... Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. I tried. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility.
Okay, we, um, can we fall onto that platform? Let's do this. gonna burn myself with a laser at some point. Okay, blue one is over here. <sighs> Fuck you. Ah, oh, I failed one! Damn. There goes my perfect run. <laughs> Give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Look, ma'am. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Yeah, no shit. Oh my god, I was not prepared for that. Okay, so I need a box. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. Freshen it up so how? you breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. But, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. Whee! I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Yeah, well, I don't feel bad for you about that somehow. Ma'am. Wow, these are some expansive rooms.
So if I get catapulted into a wall, well, this is just going to catapult me in a chain. Go this way, this way. That looks like it's going to launch me into the water. can't possibly launch me far enough to get to those portals, right? I don't know, it's fine. But maybe it will! Yes! Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Ah, fuck. to get no. I see Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. <laughs> okay, this is reminding me of when my friends and I were teenagers. Bunch of teenage girls together roasting each other. We literally would just call each Did other you know smelly the people with garbage. Like, are more easily startled by loud noises. Like, haha, you're smelly. I'm sorry. I don't like, know. Like that's why what that this reminds me of. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. I hope that's not uh, relevant to this. Uh... Puzzle. What did that turn on? Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna do the same thing again. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Hmm. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. I love the hard ones. Okay, um...
Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Was there anything we could take? I guess we could... No, you can't create another box. Those get... Fizzled. Oh my gosh, was there something you could take? Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. It's probably nothing. It's probably mind games. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Yeah. Oh my god. It's scary. What the fuck? Oh no. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. And the fucking fucking then I got on the and again. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Uh -oh. My gosh, that's right. Your portals vanish. The portals vanish. I don't know why I just tried that. I just really wanted it to work, that's all. You're not gonna you're not gonna give me another one? <laughs> Oh, that's what this is. Oh my god, why am I missing so much crap in my head? Okay, so what's the point of of this? What is it doing? I don't know what it's doing. Oh, it's just it's it's opening the door. Oh no. <laughs> How do we do this? Right? Like... Clever. If you don't pass through the barrier, the portals don't vanish. Oh, new chapter. Nice. It's really easy to zoom in on accident. Okay, is this... Does that mean that's just gonna go straight up, or it'll probably push me over that way? Hmm, where do we want to end up? Where do I want to end up? Well, 
I don't know. Let's just see where this goes. Hey, hey, it's me. I'm okay. Well, I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. What happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Hmm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Bird, right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. <laughs> Yes, we want to press the button. And we want this uh, laser to be directed where? Oh, great. Yeah. Through the wall. We need a, we need the cube first. Um, so let's see, that's the blue portal. I need momentum. Um, <laughs> to get over there, I need to do this again, I guess. Landed right on that laser. I guess it doesn't matter where he actually pointed it. Oh man, now I need to get up there. So, to get up there, though... Sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. <laughs> that was good. That was a good one. You gotta hand it to him. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Oop. I fell. I didn't mean to do that. Oops, I didn't mean to do that either.
feel like this is just gonna fling me into that laser. What I want to get first is the the cube. So how can I get it to fling me not into the laser? Stop watching me. Maybe it'll just fling me up. Directly up. Okay, I just gotta try it. Do we need these to lay down flat? I'm gonna put this block in the way of the laser, I guess. I don't know what that's gonna do, but I'm not sure what else to do. Wait, we can't do that. It's not, um... Oh, we can. Okay. There is some floor in front of it. <laughs> Great! What does that do for us? Maybe we can get flung farther? It didn't seem like... It didn't seem like it was going to get us all the way to these things, so maybe it does. Okay. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Okay. to do this whole thing again. Back this way. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's where we're trying to go. What the fuck? I won't touch the keys this time. Well, 
You passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. It's dark. How do we get out of this? And you see uh, Wheatley again. Wheatley, help me! Where are you? 